Hi, my name is Cameron McIntosh. I'm an ENT surgeon and a board certified facial plastic surgeon. Right, so let's talk about grommets and glue ear. There's quite a difference between little children and adults in terms of how the ear works. We, our ear has three parts. There's the outer, the middle, and the inner ear. When we talk about glue ear, that means that there is liquid in the middle ear. And the reason the middle part of the ear has liquid is that the eustachian tube is not functioning properly so that the liquid that is normally formed cannot drain down through the eustachian tube into the nose. So once we get to theater, what would happen is your child would get a little mask over their nose and mouth and they would be gassed to sleep. It's very important that you as a parent remain completely calm so that it's a pleasant experience for everybody involved. I will proceed to put the grommet in the ear. We make a little cut in the eardrum, suck out the glue and pop the grommet in. Once the child's awake and they're in the ward, they can get discharged. We generally do not give them any pain medication. You probably have a completely different child once they can hear and respond to you because the fluid has now been sucked out of the middle ear. It takes anything between six weeks and six months for that grommet to extrude and then we have a healthy tympanic membrane afterwards. So in terms of risks with surgery, there's general anesthesia risks and there's surgical risks. From the surgical side of things, a very small percentage of patients may need a second grommet and a very small percentage of patients end up with a small perforation once the grommet has extruded, which we have to then surgically close up.